The continuous casting and rolling production line can be used to produce copper rolls, aluminum rolls, and aluminum alloy rolls. The copper rolled continuous casting and rolling production line provided by Onometal combines the advantages and characteristics of similar equipment from American Southern Wire, German SMS, and Italian Properize. It can produce 8 mm bright low oxygen copper rolls with electrolytic copper or 100% scrap copper as raw materials. If electrolytic copper is used as raw material, the production line is equipped with shaft furnace and holding furnace. And when scrap copper is used as raw material, it is equipped with revolutionary furnace. The molten copper enters the 5-view continuous casting machine through the lander and pouring pot, and then through the front traction, rolling shear, straighten, feeding device, enters the continuous rolling mill. After multi-part rolling, through the high-pressure reduction coiling and washing device, the finished copper rod will be coiling. Aluminum rod, aluminum alloy rod CCR line can produce aluminum rods and aluminum alloy rods of different grades due to the different among crystal wheel, rolling wheel and drawing form. The production capacity is also different. Taking the aluminum alloy rod continuous casting and rolling production line as an example, the aluminum ingot is melted in the melting furnace and the aluminum liquid flows into the holding furnace through the lander for composition adjustment, refine, stirring, and standing. Then it flows into the online degassing and filtering device for degassing and slag removal, and then enters the continuous casting machine. Under the action of the cooling system, it forms a continuous casting billet. The billet enters the induction heating device through the striking machine, the front traction, the rolling shear, and the bridge passing device. The induction heating device can ensure the precise temperature requirement of the billet entering the rolling mill and has the function of heating and adjusting. Then billet enters the continuous rolling mill. After multi-part rolling, it enters the coiling device through the quenching device for continuous coiling. At present, three roller type continuous rolling mills are commonly used due to its high cost performance, but it also requires a large amount of spare parts and takes a long time to replace the rollers. Now two roller type continuous rolling mill is increasingly being used the full to roller type continuous rolling mills adopts cantilevered rollers and the rollers are staggered horizontally and vertically. A large compression ratio is adopted during rough rolling. The billet has a large deformation at high temperature so that the rolling state can achieve the effect of pushing, squeezing and pricing so as to ensure the quality of the billet. Micro tension or tension free rolling is achieved during finished rolling. The frame adopts the principle of oil liquid separation, which reduces the amount of illusion circulation and the concentration ratio. The roller adopts a double groove design, which doubles the solid life. On a metal, it has entered the world's advanced level in the low oxygen copper road and aluminum alloy rod continuous casting and rolling production line. The products are exported to South Africa, the Middle East, North America, and other regions. Welcome to visit our company and conduct the technical discussions.